Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Franklin. Thanks for joining me on Full Bucket's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about when your mare will foal. As an equine internal medicine specialist and someone who's spent decades advising horse owners and breeding farm managers on newborn foal care, I know that the time and energy that goes into foal watch. I also know how important it is to monitor foaling because if a mare gets into trouble for more than 20 or 30 minutes, her foal's chances of surviving plummet. But just because it's important to do doesn't mean you aren't allowed to feel like a watched mare will never foal. The worst thing is weeks and weeks go by with you ready and no foal arrives. It's not just draining on you, but also depending on how many foals you plan to have, it's draining on your team. So in this video, I wanna show you how to spot the signs of foaling early and the best ways to predict your foal's arrival date. So the first thing is never guess when you can test with pH strips. One of the best ways to know when your mare will foal is to use pH strips. In the past, we've used water hardness test kits and those are working very well, but they're very complicated and time consuming and they're a little more expensive to do. When you use a milk pH test strip, then you can know that whenever the milk pH drops below 6.6, so whenever it gets to 6.4 or lower, then that's your first alert that they're about to fold. This means she's experiencing some waxing of her teats, in the, uh, which is a sign that colostrum has begun to concentrate there. And so at Full Bucket, we knew how important this was, so we made up our own folding test strips. They're specifically there to help owners like you test mares early and know exactly what, when they're about to fold. So with the, your milk pH strips, you're gonna take a <clears throat> small strip, which in the kit, we've got these already cut up and ready for you. You're gonna apply one drop of milk, so squeezing directly from the udder onto the strip, and then the strip will have a color change, just like it's a litmus paper. But you have to have this very fine gradation. So these gradients are by two tenths. So some of your pH strips are, are by one unit. So a pH goes from zero to 14. And you have to have a specific range, which this is 5.5 to 8.0, and then a very tight gradient, so two tenths. And so we apply this and we look at the color, and whenever the color gets here to 6.4 or more acidic, then the color, then the mare is going to fall in about 72 hours. So that's a 97% chance she's going to fall within 72 hours there. You may think, well, Rob, that's a long period of time, 72 hours. It's not, because if you have a full watch team or you're doing the full watch, that gives you a concentrated period of time to focus on watching that mare. Otherwise, you may be seeing her begin to, uh, to develop some, some udder and her teats begin to fill up and then you just spend week after week watching her and she's not gonna go. So use these test strips as a good way to, to know that she's gonna go. If the pH is 6.6 .6 or higher, then there's a 99% chance she's not gonna fold in the next 24 hours and you just test again the next day. Now, I will say this, maiden mares are known to have what we call a quick drop. So their pH will go from high up in the sevens, perhaps eight, and it will rapidly go down. So in a maiden mirror, I'm gonna advise you to test twice a day. So the other physical things that you're gonna do is you're gonna be watching the vulva and the tail. The pH test is going to give you a heads up that your mare is about to fall, but it could also still be a few days away. So another thing that we always wanna look for, and these are old horseman tricks, is to look at the vulva and the tail head. And this helps you narrow down that range even more. So you'll notice that the vulva area begins to elongate, and the vulva becomes quite soft, and the tail head also will begin to soften. These are just natural things that occur from the hormones that allow the pelvis to relax a little bit so the foal can be delivered. Once you get these additional signs, it's going to tell you that you're within days or even hours of your mare foaling. Finally, start to look for behavioral changes. Another thing to watch for is right before the mare foals, she may become very restless. She'll often move her body in final preparation for the birth, trying to reorganize the position of the foal and so that it makes sure it's coming out feet and nose first and the mare may lay down, roll around a little bit, stand up, lay back down 
And that normally is a sign that she's in what we call stage one of labor. And this is the final check I look for to get prepared for the fold to be here. So once you're pretty confident that your mare is about to fold, let's talk about setting up for the foal's arrival. One of the things is location and sanitation. And my big concern as an equine professional is that you're that you choose a location for foaling that's safe and sanitary. Taking precautions will help prevent things like salmonella, E. coli infections, rotavirus, and even some nasty bugs like Clostridium difficile, which can cause diarrhea. Because if you're foaling out multiple foals in a foaling stall, it can become a dangerous environment. If you get one foal that has something, and then that mare and foal come out of the stall and you put another one right in there, that's how I see a lot of outbreaks occur. If you have a clean grassy pasture, which you can monitor the mare and the weather is good, then that is probably the most natural and the best place for a mare to foal. So don't put her out in a dirt paddock for foaling. That's not gonna be a great environment. And don't put her out in bad weather either. If you want your mare to foal indoor, select a safe stall about twice the size of a normal stall. Clean it out of all manure and other organic debris and then spray surfaces which are with a disinfectant. You can use dilute bleach here at a one to eight or one to four ratio, you can apply that just with a garden sprayer after you've removed all the organic debris. Organic debris is things like old shavings, old straw, manure caked on the wall, mud, dirt, that sort of thing. Get that area clean, then apply the disinfectant. After the stall dries, put plenty of clean straw or straw over clean shavings uh, as a good bedding source. Now, what happens when your foal arrives is that you need to do a few things to make sure it thrives. So we assess foals according to a one, two, three time frame, which starts right at birth, which means at one hour, the baby should have stood up. At two hours, it should have nursed the mare. And at three hours, the mare should have completely passed her placenta. Now, it's crucial during this time that the colostrum, which is the natural antibodies that are taken from the mare, that they go into the bloodstream. This is why we get a surrogate sort of immune system for the foal where it can nurse from the mare to get her immune system until the foal's immune system can ramp up on its own. Another way to protect the foal from harmful bacteria during this crucial period is to give them a half a tube of foal kickstart. At Full Bucket, we use foal kickstart, which lines the entire gastrointestinal tract with antibodies. Now, what these antibodies are, are they're derived from hens. So they are uh, taken from the chicken that has been immunized against common diseases that foals are gonna be susceptible to. After we've immunized the hens, then we con they concentrate antibodies in their egg. We take the egg, which has the high antibodies, and then we prepare it into a special paste in which you can administer half a tube at the time of birth and then come back six hours and give the other half the tube. Again, this is not a colostrum supplement. It's not in lieu of colostrum. This is simply there to provide a natural coating of antibodies while that foal is waiting to get its first colostrum meal and to absorb the colostrum. So if by chance while the foal's nursing around trying to get that colostrum meal, it happens to pick up some bacteria, stuff that could cause disease, well, these antibodies from the foal kickstart are there to intercept those uh, harmful pathogens before they cause disease. So full, bu full Bucket's full starter kit is designed to offer you a complete peace of mind as you and your mare prepare for foaling. This is just the easiest and most comprehensive way to thrive during the entire foaling process and set your foal up for lifelong success. So the thing with the full um, foaling kit is that you get the milk pH strips, you get a tube of the full kickstart, which you're gonna give on day one, and you also get the full probiotic, which is there to give the, the foal's gut a beneficial head start by preparing it with a healthy microbes, digestive enzymes to help it digest the milk, and then also uh, more of the antibodies that are gonna be given each day. We know that the first week of life is the, is the time where that foal really is susceptible to developing severe life-threatening illnesses. So we know, and I know after establishing three international intensive care units for neonates and training at the first neonatal in intensive care unit that was ever developed in the 1980s at the University of Florida, that that first week is paramount. So by providing this healthy gut start, you're gonna have a healthy outcome. If you like this video, be sure and subscribe to the channel for more exclusive content on helping your horse 
perform and be its best year round. And also check out fullbuckethealth.com. We're the leader in digestive care supplements for horses and have been trusted by over 5,000 horse owners to help their horses get back on track. Our mantra at Full Bucket is be good and do good. We believe in being a light wherever we go and being an encourager and being generous. And one way that we do that is by giving back. Not only do we volunteer our veterinary expertise in areas that have working animals, but we also donate a product, a veterinary uh, nutritional supplement to every uh, to an animal for every one that you purchase for your animal here at home. So thanks for checking out the video. Subscribe and take care.